Yeah. Instead of directing his ire where it belongs, at Joe Biden's administration, Chicago's Democrat mayor, Brandon Johnson, has decided to sue bus companies for transporting illegal migrants into his sanctuary city. Last month, Chicago's city council passed a series of laws meant to regulate buses dropping off migrants. He's now launched 55 lawsuits against what he's deemed rogue companies for violating the regulations. Meanwhile, the mayor's spokesman touts the success of the city's efforts to house migrants in churches and other areas that have brought the number of migrants camped out at O'Hare Airport down from a couple of thousand to just several hundred. Some success. Here to discuss is Chicago-based journalist William J. Kelly. William, thanks for being with us. Uh, Dagan and I talked about this story before we went on, and both of us just thought this is absolutely insane that this guy is suing the bus companies. Can you please explain what's going through his head? God bless you, Brian and Dagan. Uh, yes, insane is one word. Uh, another word that, uh, as a reporter, I've heard a number of his colleagues, as well as members of his own administration, off the record, telling me incompetent. Mm. Uh, Mayor Brandon Johnson is not only suing bus companies, but he signed a $29 million contract to build tents for these migrants in the middle of winter. Anyone who's been to Chicago in a winter knows it, it's Arctic. And get this, as if that weren't bad enough, the tents, he wanted to put the tents on top of a toxic waste dump. So, I mean, there are a number of people who are telling me that they don't think Mayor Johnson is going to serve out his, his full first term because May, uh, Governor Pritzker does not want any embarrassments during his all-important DNC convention that will be in Chicago uh, in uh, 2024. The, the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency had to come in and shut down the construction of those migrant tents, and it was the, the brave men and women of Brighton Park as part of the city who were so angry about these illegal migrants being housed in their neighborhoods. So they were cheering, in essence, the idiocy of their own mayor to try and put the tents on top of toxic waste. Uh, William, but on this note, it's the dopery, the profound stupidity of someone who passes laws uh, that allows him to then sue these bus companies, but then won't actually enforce the laws that are on the books right. that protect the legal residents of the United <laughs> States and of the United States in Chicago and Illinois. There you go. There you go, Dagan. There you go, being right again. Uh, that's right. There was a, a, a horrific stabbing. A, a migrant was stabbed someone on the CTA, the public transportation in Chicago, yesterday in the, you know, at four o'clock in the afternoon on State Street. And uh, and sadly, you know, the people of Chicago uh, have not seen any. Uh, any improvement in the crime epidemic. And now we have this migrant epidemic that is now devolving into a crime epidemic. Uh, people of the city of Chicago have not been adequately warned uh, whenever, you know, there have been numerous crimes committed by migrants. Mm. And uh, sadly, they are reported as Chicago man. Chicago what? man stabs, Chicago man, you know, robs. But, but these are migrants that are committing these crimes. And get this. They're not. They're being released because of the no cash bail uh, policies of our governor and our mayor, and they're not showing up for their court dates. Of course not. Is there any sense on the ground in Chicago that you know maybe we we messed up in this election, William? Is there any sense that maybe we blew this? Well, here's a weird one for you. The president of the Illinois NAACP uh, is under fire today because she is calling the migrants savages. Now, mm. did you ever think in your life that you would hear the president of the NAACP calling their uh, black and brown people savages? Uh, and uh, now, you know, what is Governor Pritzker or Mayor Johnson going to do? Are they, is, are they going to ask for her to, to resign? You know, God only knows. Uh, obviously, as you well know, if that was a Republican, uh, heads would roll. Mm.
Yeah, when those hundreds of teenagers were looting this convenience store just a few months ago, remember the mayor snapped at some reporter and said, it's not a mob action, it's a large gathering. <laughs> he has a tendency to do that over and over again. Mm, again, the, um, the control of language, that's all the left right. is good for. William J. Kelly, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank God you bless for having you. me.